My name is Damien Herman. Uh, this is for a grade 11 history class. It is a, uh, we're just basically going to be learning about, you know, Norse uh, history, their influence on uh, uh, the continent of Europe during Middle Ages, roughly, when they started to invade. So let's get into this. So first of all, let's just start off with, does anyone have any uh, prior knowledge uh, regarding culture, uh, faith, current media, myths, legends, historic figures? Does anyone have any uh, background knowledge of anything like that at all? Go ahead and feel free to get out like a piece of paper, I'd say, write down some of the things that you're uh, just kind of, you know, that you already kind of know. You know, Thor from Marvel is what most people picture when they think of Thor, you know. And Vikings are, of course, very popular in media today. <clears throat> so we are just going to kind of start off on kind of like the myth, the stories behind the Viking Raiders. So oftentimes they're depicted as being uh, violent, warmongering, very uh, just kind of greedy people, actually. They like to uh, attack and raid and murder, pillage, plunder. Uh, they were shown as, you know, loving mead. They were always drinking, fighting, you know. There was a lot of, like, almost like fear-mongering that has taken place so that, you know, the real picture of Vikings got a little bit skewed from what they actually were. So several sources did, in fact, agree that Norsemen went through the British Isles and, like, northern northern Europe, you know, like, parts of Germany, France. Uh, they would go in, they would raid these places, they would burn down churches and temples. Uh, you know, they were, they did have a fascination with war, mostly due to their faith. Uh, their faith said that, like, basically they had to die in, in battle to get to their afterlife. So they would, you know, go out, attack, because, you know, for them, it's either they survive and they have glory and, and money and, and respect from all these other Vikings, or if they died, they would go on to a glorious afterlife. So war, they were very violent, but not as violent as they're often depicted in media. So influences to Europe. So you can kind of see on this map here, you know, where the Viking homelands were, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, you know. And uh, you can kind of see these red areas, which is where the Vikings would invade, uh, establish towns, villages, things of that nature. Uh, they also did it uh, down on, like, northern France as well, uh, some places along northern uh, Germany as well. But mostly the British Isles were the focus of their attention. So, uh, famous Vikings. There are a lot of, you know, pretty famous Vikings out there. You know, uh, I think the most famous one that people know is Leif Erikson, uh, one of the first people to discover North America, so it's claimed. Um, so if you can think of any. Uh, if not, here are some examples. So Ragnar Lothbrok, he was the most feared Viking of his time. He was like the Viking. He was like the picture of like what every, you know, raider wanted to be like. It was like they, he was the hero of the Vikings pretty much. Uh, Sigurd, Snake in the Eye, uh, he was uh, one of the sons of Ragnar and he uh, became king of Denmark. Uh, Bjorn Ironside, another one of Ragnar's sons, uh, he would become a king of Sweden. And actually, Sigurd Snake in the Eye, I think. Uh, some of the... Some of the royalty of today actually can still trace their lineage back to, like, Harold and Sigurd. But, yeah, Harold Fairhair, uh, he conquered almost all of Norway and was proclaimed the first king of Norway. And in Rollo of Normandy, he was the first duke of Normandy. That's this little red area on the map. And he kind of helped establish Norman culture, which was like a mix of Norse and French. 
uh, eventually the Normans would invade England, and that's where the English culture comes from. So a lot of a lot of Norse influence. So a lot of the big takeaways are, you know, they are, you know, popularized in current media. They're not as violent as they're often portrayed, but still are. Uh, the influence showing even today, yeah, you know, even media, uh, some architecture uh, in Europe still sometimes have that, like, Viking Norse kind of feel. Uh, they were responsible for many discoveries. Yeah, they were great salesmen. And several semi-mythic figures of Viking legend are responsible for several great deeds, including founding kingdoms, conquering lands, and raising wealth from pillaging. So they were uh, they 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 were willing to take risks to further you know they weren't afraid of death actually they kind of looked for it and because of that the men that you know survived were oftentimes you know great warriors or they would go on to become great kings you know con you know it was really there was a lot of influence that was happening but yeah. So that's really our intro to Norse cultures. So we'll be learning a little more about it later. Have a good rest of your day.